Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And today, somebody sent me a photograph of an edge light. And there are programs out there that'll do this. Um, I used to even try to do them. And I, I was just playing around uh, with different ways to do it and came up with something I'm pretty proud of. It's not as good as this, but there might be some ways around it again even more. It does work pretty well. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna draw a heart. And the hearts are under your polygon tool, under your common shapes or basic shapes, depending on what version, and there's your heart. I would hold down the control key and make a heart. Then, depending on which way you want to do it first, but I'm going to take my three-point curve line, and I'm going to start about right there to right there, and I'm going to make this curve. I might even take my shape tool and actually bring, bring this one in a little bit and give a little bit of a curve to it. Now I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. I'm going to mirror that to the other side. Now they really need to be pretty even, but so mathematically you could do it. Um, but I don't think it really matters for this, well, for the video. So I'm going to nudge this out of the way. Matter of fact, I'm going to nudge that back and make my nudge factor like 30 inches. And I'm going to nudge this out of the way. Now I'm going to take these two lines and I'm gonna open effects and blend, and I'm gonna blend them less this time. I'm gonna blend them like 35 times. And I get that shape. Now we're gonna need this heart later, but what's so cool about the, uh, well, what I need to do first before I forget, I need to break this blend apart, but then I need to group it all together. And now I'm going to use the intersect tool, and so I don't have to make a copy of that. I'm just going to intersect it. And I'm going to move that out of the way. There is our beginning. Now I'm going to take our graphic and move it out of the way, and I'm going to take our heart. The other way is a little bit trickier, but and you could play around with it. We're going to I'm going to kind of start in the middle and draw two lines this time. And I am going to control D and make a duplicate and mirror it. You can see there's not much difference, but I need to get these in the center, but I also need to combine them to make them one line. That's pretty important. Now we need to join these two nodes. So I'm gonna to go to Windows, Dockers, Join Curves, and hit Apply. Now it's one piece as you can see. Now, I probably need to center these to make it perfect, so I'm gonna hit, well, yeah, I can move the heart. No, I can't. I can't move the heart, because that's gonna be part of that. So what I can do, let's bring in an indexing line. And you can see I'm off a little bit of my new drawing, but we can take our pick tool and put that more to the middle. Now I need to draw the bottom, and this is where you could, you know, do a lot of testing and uh, figure some things out. I'm gonna use the three-point curve line again. That's not very much in the center. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just delete that, and I'm gonna start over and just draw a straight line, and then come from the middle and come down. And you could play around with that a lot. Now, let's take our heart and nudge it out of the way, and let's take our two shapes. We'll do the same 35. And I, don't forget to go to object, break blend apart, go to object, and group it together. Nudge our heart back up. Take our intersect tool again. And look at that. And then you're gonna need your heart to have the outline so we can just nudge that out of the way and grab your heart. I'm still gonna play around with this. I've got some other ideas, but that would be pretty cool in an edge light. Um, it'd be better if this line matched up, you know, in the center, and that's uh, probably something I did earlier and just didn't have it quite in the center. 
And you could play around and make, you know, make the hearts, you know, have it more of a swoop, uh, or you could have the bottom more of a, less of a point. But regardless, that would look pretty cool in an edge light. Just remember, I draw in hairline, so you would need to, uh, if you were going to uh, engrave this, you'd need to select all the all of it. I would make them in black so you know it is, and then make them something thicker than a hairline so it will engrave. But you definitely probably need the outside part to to kind of finish it off. But anyway, I hope that answered his question a little bit. Thank you for watching.